Hey everyone out there in TikTok land and Facebook reels and what's the other one with these shorter and these kind of videos? Instagram, but they're reels too, so whatever, okay? All right, well, it's July 19th. Welcome back to Winterfell Camp. Uh, it's July, not 19th, July 9th. And uh, just watching on CNN, the aftermath of uh, Hurricane Burl uh, messed up things pretty good down south there. Um, and the Caribbean. Anyways, remnants is on of that is on its way here, and uh, we're gonna we're under a heavy rain warnings tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I'm kind of battening the hatches down here at camp. Um, nothing really, you know, out of the ordinary. I'm gonna have to go in the back. A piece of my uh, sheet metal roofing came off the top of the pump room, so that's gonna have to go back on. It should have been screwed in. I don't know what's going on there. Um, and I filmed it on the other one, uh, like the regular video for YouTube. Um, I'll take you guys outside here in a few minutes. Um, but I found the posts, the you know, the stick posts to put the awnings out on the side of the tent so the rain doesn't go on the sides of the tent. It'll run off. But saying all that, I'm going to put a tarp over the tent. I don't want to... I don't want to, this is, I mean, the tent has survived all these storms, all this stuff, the tornado warning nonsense, all of that. But um, this is probably using my head. It hasn't been silicone sprayed yet either. So um, we're just going to throw one of those big plastic tarps over it and, uh, you know, make sure it's got some extra protection. Because it's got the, it's, I've still got the blue shag, 1970s shag carpet in it. Not made in the 70s, thankfully. Who knows? Anyways, uh, um, and my bed in there, my foam mattress on that, like my cot, my foam mattress, and now my Coleman chair sits in the corner there. Um, I don't want all that stuff to get wet, and so far with all the storms, it stayed dry, so I'm like, yee we go to Sabo Beach for three whole weeks. Is that still, oh, my bent finger. Three weeks, that's from my chainsaw injury. If, for you, for those of you who don't know. Anyway, um, three weeks, I'm going to be at Sabo this year. So uh, I want to make sure everything is going to be extra clean, extra this, extra that. So um, I was supposed to take the bus, but we all know what happened to the bus. Now, news on things. The bus, which I have up for sale for 15000 or best offer. I'm taking a huge loss, but hey lesson learned um it's going to be easier to replace than i thought with another uh rv i found a couple of really sweet deals safety and everything ready to go i just got to get in turn the key and go um, and less than what i'm asking for the bus significantly less so the only thing i'll do is i'll have my friend true have a look at it before i do anything you know like pull the pin on it I'm like okay true <laughs> do your magic brother and he will. He won't. He won't leave any stone unturned. If he tells me, don't buy it, I'm gone. So, so anyways, um, um, I've got a serious bite on the bus. Um, lad called me from uh, the Toronto area code. It doesn't mean he's in Toronto, but in that vicinity anyway. And he was serious. And. Uh, um, she asked all the right questions because I've had a lot of idiots, you know, is it is it is it available, which I put, you know, they put right in the ad. Don't ask me if it's available because I'm not going to answer and I'll block you. OK, it's that stupid button that Facebook put in. Anyways, uh, um, uh, uh, so I just block those idiots and delete them. They're not serious. Um, somebody serious is texting me because that's what I put in the ad like text me on the number that I put in the graphic Like uh, so this guy texts me there. He didn't hide his phone number. He didn't text me he called me didn't hide his number or anything So and he sounds like he's gonna think on it. He knows what he's got to do with the motor and everything um, I guess he's gonna work it out for himself and then he's gonna get back to me in a day or two So hopefully hopefully in the meantime, of course, I'm going to keep advertising it. So there's number one is news on the bus. Number two, news on the ATV. Uh, I was right. There was something not right with it. And where's my paper? Um, true 
had the bike, took it home, rode it.